What's going on guys? Steve Vansker here with Total Access Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Beer Can Chicken Cooker. This was sent over to us by Cave Tools. We're going to be cooking a full chicken on this today along with some potatoes. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box and take a look at it. Alright guys, so right out of the box, uh, this is everything that it comes with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start over here with the drip pan. This is extra deep. It's made out of nice thick metal, which is very nice. You've got your stand here. You've got your can in the back, and you've got your vegetable spikes on the side there. Now, in addition to all this, Cave Tools also includes a downloadable free recipe book. And they include a card here. You can go right on their website to download that. Now, what's really nice about this unit is it's all made out of stainless steel, which means you can throw everything in the dishwasher once you're done, and it'll clean everything at once. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like assembled here. We'll take our stand, and we're going to set that inside the drip pan. We're going to take our can... And we're gonna go ahead and lock this in. It's got a nice mechanism in here that just locks that right into place. And what that's for, when you go to pull your chicken off of the can, this will all stay locked into place and your chicken should come right off. Now this unit also comes with vegetable spikes. So if you wanna make corn or potatoes, uh, they make it very convenient. That way you only have to use one pan. So what that looks like, you'll take your spike here and it'll just attach it right here to the side and your potatoes will slide right on there. Today we'll be cooking on the grill. However, this unit can also be used inside in your oven as well. So let's go ahead and get it on the grill and see how it does. All right guys, so we're over here at the grill. Um, today we're gonna be using a hard cider as our liquid. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pour that in here. And we'll go ahead and save some of the extra for the cook. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and take our whole chicken, which we've already seasoned, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put it on top of our can here. All right, so we've got it seated. We've got it in the right spot there, which is great. And we've also got our potatoes, which we'll be adding on the vegetable spikes as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, this just clips on the side here. And that is it. So we are ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and uh, throw that on the grill and see how it does. Okay, so I just wanna give you guys an idea of how this is going to fit here. go ahead and take it and just set it right in it looks like it fits nicely in there uh, we're at 350 degrees for our temperature so we're gonna go ahead and let that go and we'll check back in a little bit all right so we've been on for about 45 minutes we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look and see how it's doing so it looks like it's doing great so far we're going to go ahead and leave it on for another 30 to 45 minutes and we'll pull it off and see how it does. All right guys, so here's our finished product. It turned out fantastic. Our overall cook time was just over an hour and a half at 350 degrees. For cleanup, we went ahead and uh, let it soak for a few minutes and we're going to go ahead and throw it in the dishwasher. Um, overall rating, uh, this gets five stars all day long. Uh, with a price point of $20, you can't afford not to have this in your kitchen. So we're going to go ahead and leave the link below to Cave Tools if you guys would like to check this out. Please remember to subscribe. We upload videos every week. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Have a great day.